Jamie Tripp. Hey, Adam. I dropped a question in the notifications, but in case you missed it, when do you add your fruit puree before or after terminal gravity and or dropout yeast first? We are thinking of making a 3.8% Rattler. And so the Rattler is, you know, uh, I think essentially light beer and then lemonade. I'm believing it's like a German thing. Um, yeah, man, there's there's a couple of different ways you can do this. I, I typically do like if you are going to use puree um, and depending on what what it is, if it's if it's lemon, um, you might not have clarity issues because it might not be like a big pectin bomb. Um, but, uh, you know, in, in a case like that, I might actually be looking more for uh, like a, a concentrate because concentrates uh, will have the color you want and the clarity that you want uh, in, in, in the finished beer. And you can and you can bench top that. Right. And, and, and kind of kind of do that, do that, too. And then, as I mentioned earlier in one of the other questions, you can do some things to knock the yeast out. So you could do those additions on the cold side in the bright tank when you're going in there. Um, but then you there there's some uh, there's some various uh, preservatives that you can add in there that wouldn't uh, that wouldn't hurt that thing. If, if you don't want to if you don't want to use preservatives on the backside and the bright, you're going to need to use something up front in the fermenter um, that you're going to want to ferment out toward the end of fermentation. So in the back third of fermentation, when the real vigor of it is 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 rocking and blowing off a lot of CO2. I like to add those those products in late, so they can be uh, so they can be fermented. Um, you will have some uh, you will have uh, less punch behind it when you do it like that. So I would recommend uh, adjusting uh, on the on the bright tank side with uh, a quality. I'm going to use the term TTB approved, but I, I you're not a TTB country. Um, but you know, a federally approved natural extract to help lift the nose on that, to layer those things up. I think that's a, I think that's a good way to do it. Um, so yeah, that would be, uh, that would be my advice to you. Yeah. And, and, and Jamie, that's the idea. You said no need to be clear. I just don't want sugar and flavor to ferment out. I mean, that, that's really the, that's really the scenario. So if, if you're in a situation where you can filter, and you know you can you can basically filter all that yeast out, essentially all that yeast out. And you're on the pub side, you might be able to get away with some stuff like that, uh, maybe without stabilizing. But you might need to stabilize it. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, let me know how it turns out, Jamie. Ho hopefully everything's going well. For for those of you that don't know, Jamie is uh, is running a place called uh, Test Batches. Um, and uh, a, a, a new spot. Are, are you uh, Ontario? I, I'm sorry, I, I can't remember off the top, Jamie. But uh, it's, it's it's always so cool to see our to to see people that have have been part of this community, um, and uh, they're out there doing their own thing and continue to be part of this community. Obviously. So, uh, yeah. Let me let me know. Yeah, it is Ontario. Well, well, I, I'm I'm wishing you the best up there, uh, Jamie. I know we're we're going to be hitting warmer weather soon. Usually, that's when things ramp up for uh, for all of our stuff. For you know, for our businesses. I mean, every place is different, but typically, the warm warm weather is what does it. So, um, looking forward to you having your first uh, busy season. Yeah, uh, test batches is in Midland, Ontario. Um, Fifteen beers ready on tap, man. Get in there. Show Jamie some love if if if, if, if you're up in that neighborhood. If you're up in that neighborhood. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you feel as if you got any value out of the video, please like and subscribe. There are also other videos that you can watch. They're going to maybe be over here or over here. Appreciate you watching.